So now we're gonna put a feed screw in. So this is a pretty simple part of the process. Oh, I'm putting my collar on too soon. I put my collar on. One collar on the front. You want to actually do it my collar now. And yeah. Collar, collar later. Now, I notice on this one, I got a little bit of a, a burr there from the from the set screw. Now, I got just a real fine file. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to dust that down so it doesn't catch on my collar. When I go to slide my collar on, that's what I was noticing is... I, I'm catching on that burr just a little bit. That's not bad. It's a little bit of catch to it, but not bad. So now I can get the collar on. So basically when we put this back together, now we can look here. We got a second. We're going to have a second burr right here. So I just touched that a little bit so it doesn't quite me. So when I put this together, there's one collar that goes on here to the front and then a, another collar that will sit at the very back. So basically as I put this on, now I've got to rotate this feed nut. Now I don't push it too hard where I'm going to screw up my spring because if you push it really, really hard, you can damage the spring. Uh, just get it enough so it slides in and then... grab my collar for the back now basically I got this second collar I'm gonna slide it on now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come in and I gotta line this guy up and I don't want this I don't want this touching on the front I want a little tiny bit of a gap so I'm gonna pull it back so it's maybe a sixteenth of an inch of a gap then I'll tighten this collar then I'll tighten this collar that's it. Now your carriage is back in. For the control box, it's simple. It's four screws, your switch bolt, and then you, you put the motor on, plug the two motor leads in, and it all bolts together. Again, you of course tighten these firmly. Yes, yes. Using a little glue here and a little bit of the silicon glue around the screws helps keep the oil from coming into the, the gearbox.